witches and wizards. Hello muggles, perhaps. My name is Monica and I am the content creator over on popcornerreviews.com, a geeky lifestyle entertainment blog with recipes, style, mm, DIYs, all with a geek twist, of course. Today, I am sharing a really simple and fun recipe based on one of my favorite fandoms, Harry Potter. Now, I am a Slytherin at heart, love it or hate it, but tell me what your house is in the comments. I'd love to know if my other Slytherins are here watching or if we've got Gryffindor, Hufflepuffs, Ravenclaws, you name it. Every house is welcome. Um, but today, our recipe is inspired by the Chamber of Secrets. So without further ado, turn to page 394. Actually, turn to page 74. I just wanted to try to do my snake voice, but our recipe today is based on Mandrake's from the Chamber of Secret, doing herbology style, Mandragora, if you're a Hermione fan. And we are going to be putting a twist on the classic dirt and worms pudding cup, but instead we will be potting mandrakes in ours. So we are going to actually do chocolate covered strawberries and icing some mandrake facial features on them. And we will be planting them in this nice terracotta pot, which is full of chocolate pudding and cookie crumbs for the dirt, as of course with our mandrake chocolate covered strawberries. So a nice little magical twist on a classic of dirt and worms. This is dirt and mandrakes, if you will. It's simple, it's easy, it doesn't take a lot of time and you don't need a lot of fancy ingredients. Also, one of the best things is with icing your chocolate covered strawberries, they don't gotta be perfect. Mandrakes, you know, their faces, they got wrinkles, they got misshapen eyes, you know, all these different features. That's why icing them, don't even worry about it. So grab your wand, throw it out the window. Don't throw it out the window, but you're not gonna need any magic today. This no magic required recipe is gonna be simple, fun, and I think you're gonna love it. So you'll need some fresh strawberries, some melting chocolate, wax paper, a chocolate melter, a mixing bowl, chocolate pudding, two cups of cold milk, a whisk, a spatula, cookie crumbs, a bowl to fit in your terracotta pot, and of course a terracotta pot just for that extra touch. And one thing I forgot to show guys, you will need some black icing just for decorating the mandrake facial features later on. Go ahead and open your chocolate pudding mix and pour it into your larger mixing bowl and then you're gonna combine that with two cups of cold milk and you're going to whisk away until it is well incorporated, about two minutes. Your chocolate pudding will start to thicken as you're whisking and once you get it to a thick consistency, go ahead and pour that into your smaller bowl which will be fitted into your terracotta pot. Make sure to try to pour this in a little cleaner just for presentation and once you have it all in, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator while we work on our strawberry mandrakes. Now these strawberries are quite easy to do because they don't have to be perfect. Mandrakes have a lot of misshapen features. So go ahead and warm your melting chocolate either in a chocolate warmer or in the microwave and then dip your clean strawberries in covering them in chocolate. Make sure to keep the stems um, removed from the chocolate as that is part of the mandrake features that we want to keep and we don't want to get any chocolate on those. Just go ahead and lay those on a sheet of wax paper to harden and dry and continue working until all your strawberries are covered in chocolate. Now while your strawberries are still a little wet, I found that it was a nice touch to take a toothpick and just draw some wrinkles, maybe some eyebrow indentations on the chocolate. They don't have to be perfect, but just kind of adding some extra marks and wrinkles while they are wet. Next, you're just gonna take some black icing, either store-bought or some royal icing, which you can easily make with powdered sugar and black food coloring. And you're going to ice on two eyes and a mouth for the mandrake facial features. Once your faces are iced, 
Just go ahead and let those set for a few minutes to let the icing harden. All right, the next and final step is going to be potting our mandrakes. Go ahead and take your terracotta pot and your pudding bowl and set that right on inside. Then go ahead and take your cookie crumbs and cover the top of the pudding with your dirt, which will make your mandrakes very, very happy. Next, you're gonna select your favorite mandrakes and you're gonna go ahead and pot those just by putting them directly down into the pudding. Go ahead and put as many in there as you would like. And for any extras, those are just some extra chocolate covered mandrake strawberries that you're gonna have available. And there we have it, our mandrake dirt cups. Make sure you serve this with a set of earmuffs for each of your guests because we certainly don't want anyone passing out like Neville Longbottom. magical recipe for today, mandrake dirt cups with chocolate pudding and chocolate cookies and chocolate covered strawberries iced like mandrakes. Simple, easy, I hope you enjoyed it. The complete ingredient list and instructions will be linked below in my description. Head on over to popcornreviews.com to check those out as well as a whole entire section of my blog which is dedicated to Harry Potter. I think you'll love some of those DIYs and recipes and style ideas if you love Harry Potter just as much as me. Well, that is it today for our Harry Potter recipe. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Stay tuned for more geeky videos, recipes, DIYs, you name it. Let me know what things you'd like to see me make next in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching.